She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Vina Tima News. She's an icon. She's a legend and she is the moment. Most of you are aware that majority of my videos are over eight minutes long, okay? So when a story is quick, short, and to the point, I post them on Instagram first, especially as it relates to Kenya Moore. So if you are on social media and you are not aware of the channel Instagram page, it's on the screen, Vinatiman Inc. News, okay? The Kenya Moore post been there for a few hours when she posted that she's going to be in a new movie on lifetime this is my third vinatiment news page the other two were deleted a little while ago by instagram it was their error because if you know me i don't be posting anything that will lead to my page being deleted there are other people that post way worse i'm very careful but I lost those two pages that had almost, I should be over 20, 30,000 followers by now. So if you are someone who used to follow the old pages and you lost both of them and you simply just moved on, this is the channel new page, even though it's not really that new, but this is the page V19 and Inc news so follow that page to keep up if you are on social media especially instagram please remember that youtube is very sensitive so if i skip over some words that's just me simply censoring myself because there are certain words you cannot say or else your video will get blocked for example every time i reference what phaedra did to candy in my videos i simply say you all know what happened i don't mention that word and what the accusation was because that word did get some of my videos flagged now that i got that out of the way let's get into what the movie is about and what kenya posted on instagram the face everything kenya looks beautiful congratulations on your new movie kenya we're all so proud of you now most of you remember this story of nurse aide kalisha and she was abducted she was basically walking around 9 40 p.m after visiting her godson she was dragged down the street forcing his car and it took three days but she was found alive so congratulations to kenya on this role i'm sure it was a very emotional and challenging role so i'm looking forward to seeing kenya in a different space than most people are used to seeing her in her acting career it airs on february 10th 2024 but everything that happened during the writer's track and people not being able to promote and advertise even though it's over for now you never know so i'm like yes girl it's in february but now you are allowed to promote and post post everything promote everything that has the green light so just in case you are covered and people are aware that you know what kenya does have a movie coming out on that day of course when it comes closer to the premiere and all of that kenya will absolutely remind all of you by posting about it let's get into her caption some of her caption i'm going to skip because all she did was repeated what's already on the flyer so i'm going to just go down to the other part that's not on the flyer and that's the part i'm going to read in the very beginning of the caption she wrote finally i can share this with all of you i'm starring in a new movie for a lifetime lifetime movie i'm so proud of my work in this film and getting a chance to exercise my acting chops after explaining again what the movie is about and listing the names of her co-stars if you go all the way to the bottom, Kenya wrote, This is truly an amazing role where I stripped down and gave you my raw feelings and emotions. And because it's on the screen, that's the reason why I did not read every single thing because you all can see it. But this happened 
in Philadelphia. I think it was around 2014. I wanted to get to what Kenya posted, but I'm going to go back to revisit the story and provide you all details. So this was a headline in 2014. A woman violently abducted on Philadelphia Street, fun and life, vicious predator arrested. The article continued less than 72 hours after being violently snatched off the Philadelphia Street as she walked home from visiting her godson. As I stated previously, Kalisha has been rescued from the vicious predator police say kidnapped her. Now, as she recovers from the attack that was caught on video and seen nationally, Focus moves to her alleged abductor who authorities have linked to a similar crime against a teenage girl. After she was rescued, for those of you who remember this story, her mom, Keisha, was so happy. She was so overjoyed. I'm taking my baby home, was what she said to reporters. Now, you all remember that Kalisha at the time was 22, okay? and her kidnapper was 37. She suffered some injuries and was taken to a nearby hospital in Columbia, Maryland for treatment. She was listed in good condition. It was a Where Are They Now article written about her. I'm going to read a short excerpt of that article and then we're going to go ahead and end it. The article listed that she's now a mother. She did not allow this situation to make her leave the state because this can happen anywhere. I'm just glad that she survived this. She did mention that she fears loneliness and that she's only able to sleep peacefully if her bedroom doors are locked. You know how you're in your house, as long as the front and the back doors, you know, the doors that's leading outside, the garage doors, as long as all of those doors are locked, some people sleep with their doors wide open inside of their homes because I'm home. They leave their bedroom door open for air and all of that. I sleep with my bedroom doors locked, okay? She said that's the only way she can peacefully sleep her bedroom doors have to be locked now and because of what she survived and went through she is still having nightmares to this date i completely understand because my goodness i'm just glad that she survived that story was very scary and we were all happy when she was fine alive and as i mentioned a door very sad story i'm glad that it was a happy ending and once again congratulations to kenya Moore. like i said for those of you who, what's kenya doing other people are in movies and doing different things i'm like this woman is a boss and she moves in silence and please remember that everything that other people are trying to accomplish today congratulations to them kenya moore been there done that in some of those areas kenya owned her own production company for years okay so she's been there done that and she's getting back into her passion and all of those things but she knows what she's doing as it relates to kenya moore hair care the hair care industry is a billion dollar industry so kenya knows exactly what she's doing and i can't wait for kenya moore hair spa to open as well and everything else that she's working on i'm wishing all of you well and take care my loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless